Bobita, Bobita tańcą, Korben as Angialuk Ulnek, Beka Hadak Fuwa Laznak, Saśka Hadak Hege Dulnek. No, no, I don't want to break my tongue. It's a very popular poem in Hungary. And to be honest, I don't understand a word, even if I come from Eastern Europe, from Poland. The reason is that the Hungarian language has got the completely different roots compared with Slavonic languages. However, before looking at history, let's check how the international students can manage to pronounce this poem. Bobita, Bobita, Tankor. Korben as Angialog. Pika hotok, fugo gaznok, szaszko hotok, hegedűnek. Bobita, Bobita Jacik, szárnya tige szamalaka, Raúl, iger neki csokot, ropéti és kikacácsa. Here in Budapest I found a group of international students who decided to study Hungarian. I will show you. Bóbita, bóbita táncol, körben az angyalok ülnek, béka hadak fuvoláznak, sáska hadak hegedülnek. It's a very nice language and it's 3000 years old. It's one of the Finno-Ugric languages, which means it belongs to the Uralic language family tree and it's completely separate from the Indo-European languages like German or French. First you decide whether it's back or front. In alphabet pronunciation, it's really important how to read out words, for example, for international students who are here only four months. But of course they meet with a little grammatic stuff as well. If you do speak Hungarian, it's much easier with different um, I don't know, with different everyday tasks and everything, so I decided to learn one and uh, I like the sound of it. I could read before I actually moved here, but I really like the sound of it. I wanted to know more about the structure, about all the other things of it. The language is not similar to any other language and the thing that in, in Polish you, you have the S and SZ in different way to pronounce. Especially when you uh, like uh, conjugate the words, it's quite similar to Chinese because we have a similar way to conjugate the, the verb, make it from one word uh, uh, into a different meaning. The words are really different, so it's really hard to learn the words, just to memorize them. If you go to any shop, place, bar, or whatever, you're trying to speak not English but Hungarian. But it's hard because, for example, if you don't know one word, then somebody can switch to English and after it you don't switch back to Hungarian and you continue to speak English. That's the tricky part. But yeah, I'm trying to practice it every day. Most different For example, let's see the word I love you in Hungarian. Here and it is pronounced like szeretlek. It's not I love you, I and you are hidden in this word. This ending, this ek, it means the I, this is the I verb ending, and this whole suffix, this lex, it means that this connection is between I and you. So if you would like to say I love you in Hungarian, you can say it easily, szeretlek. Definitely, Hungarian language is not so terrible as it is Spain. However, in this case, as in the case of other languages, you have to be hardworking and patient to see some progress. See ya! Yeah. Yeah. See ya! Yeah.